oh my god look out it's Godzilla. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah version two <laughs> version two yeah let's see i can uh, do it we had some technical uh, difficulties uh so this is our, our second attempt at our uh, podcast this week we had a unfortunately godzilla kind of walked through everything and stood and uh kind of destroyed it and uh, so we're having to rebuild and uh make it all back and uh it's it's uh, kind of a coincidence because we are going to talk about godzilla a couple of godzilla movies this week uh my name's thomas i'm here with mike and this is the first the last of nerd uh we talk about all things nerd related and beyond uh we're uh, all inclusive podcast and uh how, how's one mike <laughs> uh it's been it's it's uh it was it's been uh, i've been tired a little bit but aside from that yeah. and the little snafus yeah. in my mouse my bluetooth going uh it was big <laughs> Godzilla's footprint um, and my equipment <laughs> here uh, yep. uh, would maybe want to throw. It. But aside from that, yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I am good. I'm, I'm well. I'm well. I'm, I, yeah. I have my health. So what, what can I really complain about? So. Right. <laughs> and I, I got my boomers juice. <laughs> Boomer juice. Uh, and you have yours. Uh, yeah. Rocket fuel. Uh, rocket fuel. Yes. Uh, so yeah, if monsters out there and wants uh, looking for a sponsor. Uh, <laughs> sponsor to sponsor us uh we're we're here and uh we we <laughs> words we do good you know <laughs> yes hey, yeah <laughs> yeah now words uh with, with the m's here uh with the mm-hmm. with the with the, the, the m's yeah no the, the, this week was fun um we, we uh we have uh on the docket we have the godzilla i uh will i'll tell the audience what my pick was it was uh the american 20 uh 14 with Brian Cranston Godzilla. Uh, I was like the one of the first big uh, remakes uh, of it. Uh, how about uh, what's what's uh, with yours? Yeah, yeah. To, to um, keep with the theme of reboots, uh, I picked Shin Godzilla uh, that came out in 2016. Uh, both our picks were both a, a reboot, uh, a relaunch of the franchise, uh, where I think the the only other American one at that time was the 1998 one. That did 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 do so good. Uh, so, uh, uh, but yeah, uh, but the um, Japanese Godzilla movies, I don't know all of their box offices, but I, I assume that they all did pretty good because the this is ones that was the 29th <laughs> iteration. So I I think they they do <laughs> fairly well. Uh, and then, uh, but yeah, uh, don't don't. Um, come to the podcast this godzilla podcast thinking we're experts um <laughs> we're we have our hands in many different uh nerdum stuff and this is one of those that we're nowhere near uh, expert uh in fact um i probably should have hit up uh our uh super fan lou uh for his uh uh his son because his son's a, a major godzilla fan he's he uh, likes to collect the Godzilla figures and whatnot. So okay, very uh, cool. I remember very him cool. <laughs> him talking to to uh, to me about that uh, one day at work. But hey, Lou, uh, <laughs> hope you're watching, uh, and uh, it, maybe your kid's watching because he's a big Godzilla fan. We'll uh, keep it family friendly here. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we uh, yeah Godzilla. And speaking of childhood, um, you know, I remember. I can't, I think it was like TBS or TNT or something like that, but usually they would have like a monster fest. Maybe it was even a different channel or network or something growing up. But like when we did have, you know, the, the, the benefit of of having cable or whatever, or it was a, a a trial week, uh, you know, sometimes you could catch that on there too, but I don't think this, uh, but in any case, I remember, I found memories of watching monster vision or whatever it was. And you know, seeing Godzilla versus Mothra and and, and King Kong later on, I think. And uh, and uh, as far as monsters go, where where's uh, you know, what's your favorite uh, I guess monster type, you know, giant gigantic creature? <laughs> Kaiju is probably the the fancy way of saying it. Kaiju's the giant yeah. monsters, but uh, but yeah, uh, my sure. favorites uh, probably King Kong. Uh, I was. Uh, one of my favorite uh, movies back in the day was the original King Kong. There's something about stop uh, motion animation uh, that they did with Godzilla uh, back in the 30s that really um, in the, the thing about King Kong, uh, especially with the stop motion animation, they were able to make his face 
uh, very expressive. Uh, so he was more of a, you could kind of relate to King Kong a little bit better. Uh, Godzilla was <laughs> usually in a big rubber suit, uh, a guy in a suit kind of stomping around uh, cardboard cities. And uh, I guess that kind of goes back to uh, my my taste and in, in, in stuff. I, I, mm-hmm. I'm more human and uh, emotion and uh, kind of what drives a, a person kind of <laughs> kind of movie kind of thing. So, yeah, I guess that's maybe why I, I kind of tend to uh, go towards King Kong because he's more relatable. You always know kind of what <laughs> what he's thinking, uh, you know, if he's pissed or, you know, he's found a lady he likes, you know, it's, you, you always know what's on his mind. <laughs> Whereas God, Godzilla, he's kind of rampaging through the city. And, yeah, uh, <laughs> angry, the, the, the permanent angry scowl, you know. Like, uh, <laughs> yeah, <So>. yeah. It's, <laughs> and then, sure. um, yeah, and then, then um, a lot of times the the humans in the, like the 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 movies are a lot of times just kind of fodder, kind of look look Godzilla, you know. <laughs> There's not a whole lot you can relate to uh, the the people, but the Shin Godzilla is sort of a a, a reboot and more uh, more than one sense in the uh, I guess the later movies he kind of fights God, uh, King Kong and he fights. Uh, Mothra, and so it's, it's usually like a kind of a monster mashup. Uh, whereas, right. like the very first Godzilla was just Godzilla attacking the city, and Shin Godzilla is that. And uh, mm-hmm. th- I think they Classic. were, yeah, and they were inspired by uh, the recent um, disasters that happened at the time, like the uh, the nuclear meltdown plant. Meltdown, oh yeah, but- and, uh, and then also the. Um, 2011 earthquake and tsunamis uh, that hit Japan. So it's very much kind of, um, and then this movie uh, kind of takes sort of a, a, a government bureau, a bureaucratic angle and how they the government handles uh, the situation and mm-hmm. uh, the very intricacies of that. Uh, but yeah, that's my uh, two cents on <laughs> on Godzilla uh, as far as the intro. Uh, what were your um, thoughts going in on on this one yeah th- this is a um and, and i i am reminded of like the the other foreign film that i had seen that had relied heavily on subtitles or if you you know if you wanted to you could exercise that as an option anyway but uh was you know the the um we had watched uh um the jackie chan movies but aside from that um there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of different characters um, and the, mm-hmm. so to speak, like where it's uh, this department is, uh, you know, the character this or this scientist or this expert or whatever it is or this whatever. You know, they, they kind of put that up and let you know on the screen who this person is in relation to this. Uh, and then it, it makes sense. It's just a different way of film that you're not that I'm not quite uh, as used to. Uh, but it didn't distract from the overall point of like. Uh, Godzilla is just in in uh, the example I used before was um, <clears throat> in our first take uh, through this was in in um, my Godzilla movie. The, it's more about you know the, uh, the uh, different takes on how insignificant humans are and like how big they are. Like we don't even exist to this to Godzilla. Whereas mm-hmm. you know the Japan the, the people play. Uh, so much more of a role just versus them <laughs> right while they see their city get stomped you know and, and just this horrible horrific thing happen um and just being powerless to do anything about it is yeah. interesting too yeah in the the u.s uh, <clears throat> action, action monster movies they tend to have uh, a human uh that's very much a, an action star maybe a mel gibson or arnold schwarzenegger uh going mm-hmm. against odds um trying to uh, kind of single-handedly uh go against godzilla and they're they're sort of a, a, a kind of a character in the in the, the uh 2014 version uh u.s version but in this version the the main character is uh rando i think his name is and uh, he's a he's sort of a he's a government uh guy and he's he's uh kind of kind of bucks this this a little bit he's the one that first introduces the idea that um because you don't see godzilla at the first there's like a some uh, natural uh, there's a kind of explosion and they don't know uh what's going on and he kind of kind of uh posits the uh 
possibility of uh, some uh, monster. And then um, he, he sort of kind of leads the charge on doing an alternate way of, of dealing with the situation where the rest of the bureaucrats want to kind of grind grind with the machine and just go the way they normally go. And he realizes early on that this is a situation that's very unusual and right. that they were going to have to kind of buck the system uh, to actually kind of, <laughs> if they had a, a fighting chance against Godzilla. And uh, of course, it, so the, um, all of the action on the human side is all the, them trying to figure out what's going on. A lot of, there's a task force. There's, there's a scene where they're loading up all the, they're getting out of the laptops, all the printers. And the, I, I like all the, the, the movies um, uh, written and directed by the, the team that did uh, Neo and Evangelion Genesis, the, the anime, and, uh, the Ano okay. and uh, Shinji. Uh, they, <clears throat> and I really, I really like um, that their anime and it kind of, it, and it deals with uh, giant kaijus and uh, these big ro robots that kind of okay. uh, that go in uh, against these uh, kaiju. So uh, it's kind of familiar territory, and uh, you can kind of see uh, their their influence on it. Uh, but yeah, um, I think I kind of got muddled my point a little bit. But but basically, uh, there's there's Godzilla side of the action, which is him mm -hmm. kind of plowing through the city lots of uh natural looking disasters like cars being pushed down through the streets as uh godzilla kind of waddles along and then uh there's uh there's a scene where they're visiting one of the uh the locations where he kind of tore through and you see uh the devastation and that very reminiscent of the the footage and shots uh from those uh earlier uh natural disasters that happened in japan uh, so there's very much a, a real feeling to, to the whole thing, even though you have a giant monster kind of stomping through everything. And it's, it's the kind of the city. Yeah. This, the city of Japan that's actually kind of going, uh, kind of facing against Godzilla as opposed to that uh, American superhero that <laughs> kind of comes in and, and saves the day and, and maybe some other movies. <laughs> Right, does that that the, the old tired trope, uh, so to speak, um, of that? But yeah, th this essentially it's it's a force of nature. Like there's nothing that mankind yeah. can do. You know, it's it's it's, yeah. it's a very a, a very good call out for that. Uh, for uh, Fukushima, the reactor, I think, and then the uh, I can't remember the the name of the uh, typhoon or the not the typhoon, but the the thing that happened uh, or the earthquake excuse me um mm -hmm. oh yeah what that that was what caused well that was part of partially what caused the fukushima thing um that happened yeah. too but mm -hmm. that's a known part of the world mm -hmm. where the that it makes sense that they would have entertainment around like essentially like an earthquake uh that's yeah. what godzilla you know, it's just this unstoppable thing the only difference is you can see it where you know <laughs> yeah. it's a little bit more oh my god i'm gonna die uh, mm -hmm. no yeah you're, you're gonna get stomped <laughs> <laughs> or you're gonna burn, <laughs> burn to death, or whatever. Like this horrific, horrific uh, scene. Right. But yeah, they, I, I liked how they. I became. Uh, I mean, I, I didn't. It, it's it's a foreign uh, film to me, but they did a very good job to to this. But this is really cool to get out of your comfort zone too. Like you're, you're right. Unfortunately, American films are like very cookie cutter, template. You know, like we we kind of kind of soapbox a little bit on on oversaturation that's a reoccurring theme that i think we both agree on in, in different aspects of it with the you know the latest disney marvel or whatever or just this, or never mind that just the trope that has been done and redone um you know and uh fortunately though we've we've been able to kind of find this but this was a very good i i i really enjoyed it uh um, yeah. i got a lot out of it uh yeah. i was surprised because i didn't quite know what to think you know um mm -hmm. uh, but it was yeah. good. It was good. it was good. Yeah. I, I don't think I had something in, uh, huge to add. Essentially, it's just Godzilla versus the people um, <laughs> of Japan, like pretty much just getting stomped. Yeah, <laughs> yeah and I, I like the fact that the Godzilla he kind of went through different phases. Uh, he um, he started as an amphibious uh, creature, and he comes out onto the land, and he has a uh, little stubby feet and kind of little arms, and he can't quite. He can't stand up. He just kind of waddles along, and he's got these giant eyes. And I don't know. There's something about that 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 first 
phase of him that uh, is kind of nightmare fuel. I don't know. If, <laughs> I don't guess they have a picture in here of him, but uh, yeah. Ah, and then the, mm-hmm. eventually he he kind of uh, goes through. And then um, there's one part where he kind of uh, <laughs> goes Super Saiyan, and uh, right. when he gets attacked, and uh, he he has to go Frieza. go underground to uh, yeah yeah he has to go underground to kind of recoup. Uh, go back under uh, underwater but um but yeah and he eventually becomes the uh the phase where he's uh <laughs> so funny. I don't know what's going on there but uh where he becomes uh yeah godzilla that we all know and love uh they they did um in both movies they did do cgi there he, there's uh i guess the maquette or yeah uh, i think uh, that's it of him uh yeah uh but yeah <laughs> so has those giant eyes which is kind of kind of interesting i guess uh sort of like uh, i guess giant fish eyes uh, i guess they're kind of going for um uh, but uh yourself, but yeah, the, yeah yeah Creep um, up. i agree with that for sure <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah but uh but yeah so uh, they uh, both movies went with cgi uh at one point they were trying different things in japan kind of thought about trying a uh, guy in a suit kind of thing maybe at, at times but they, they soon realized that yeah cgi was the way to go and they did motion capture they had a guy uh kind of geared up and kind of walked around so so that uh, they could get the motion of, of godzilla and he's sort of there's a scene in there uh no we won't want any spoilers but there's like i said uh, there's a scene where he kind of goes super saiyan and he has um all these kind of beams shoot out at him because he's being attacked oh, yeah and I I yeah that's that's one of the scenes that uh i had seen it back in uh i think it came it was released in japan in 2016 i don't think it came out here until 2017 but i i i just seen it back in 2017 and that was one of those scenes that uh, i still remembered from seeing it that that first time was just that overpowering scene where he's just kind of those beams come out and yeah that's right. and he's, he's like, like kind of late yeah he's lasering <laughs> through like uh buildings and whatnot that's uh very impressive i, I know the they probably didn't have the budget of the america um for special effects but i think they kind of held their own with this one i i didn't see anything that really stood out to me as as bad or or kind of yeah. cheap looking no, everything fit very, very nicely together. I mean, it's a Godzilla film. All right. Mm-hmm. So it's again, it's mm-hmm. kind of going back to like when we, we talk about Prey or other things like, you know, it's a space monster that comes to hunt, <laughs> whatever, you know, since this is a, a, the spirit of Earth or whatever. I don't yeah. know. There's a little bit more um, backstory than that, but I don't, I don't I'm not going to pretend to know it for this particular one, nor do I know what they did specifically. But uh, aside from watching mm-hmm. it and knowing that it's Godzilla. Uh, but yeah, I, I enjoyed this one. It, 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 like I said, it, um, I think it was a little bit more more intimate, um, close up than the American one. Like I think uh, the American one was like uh, almost to a fault. Uh, it was all about you know the scale of it and how huge it is, you know. And yeah, you you do kind of understand the the interplay there, but this one is a lot more um, classic <laughs> than the American one, in my opinion. But yeah, classic, like they, classic, but updated. Yeah, definitely. Right. And, yeah, uh, not, not as not the cheesy, you know, like like you, you kind of mentioned it before, like not the guy in a rubber suit, you know, kind of stuff, <laughs> cardboard, stomping, like cardboard yeah. suit or whatever. Yeah, yeah. No, it's a little, <laughs> way better than that, obviously. But uh, the the effects were good. They were good. Yeah, yeah, and um, in the acting it was good. Uh, the when I watched it originally, I watched it with the uh, subtitles and the original dialogue. That's your that's usually the way I like to go with it to get the um, actual uh, actors' voices. That usually, because uh, when you watch a dub version, yeah. uh, you're kind of kind of handicapped as far as how good the, that voice actor is. But I went ahead uh, on this rewatch. I did li- watch it with the um, dub, and the dub wasn't too bad. Uh, I I didn't have have been uh, problems with the the dub version. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah, sometimes the dub can take it out for me, so I'll turn it off um, if it gets in the way, um, or or if it if if you want to see it and take it seriously, but the, there's just a little bit too that's off from some dubs than others. Yeah. But yeah, the, uh, you mentioned Dragon Ball Z, and I was thinking about Frieza. Like 
No, it's just like that. Not the final form. Not the final form. Not the final. Form. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was good. Yeah, and uh, I know that they had to make a deal with uh, Legendary Films that did the uh, the American version. And I was reading in Wikipedia because I was curious why they hadn't made a another Japanese version. And mm-hmm. they <laughs> their agreement with Legendary is they can't release or uh, release a Japanese version of Godzilla uh, the same year as Legendary's version. So they were kind of handicapped on as far as what year they could come out with it. And uh, the year that they could come out with it was 2020, which I guess it kind of with uh, everything with COVID and everything kind of <laughs> kind of uh, kind of screwed things up. But they decided yeah. instead of instead of doing uh, a Godzilla sequel, they're going to do they're doing a more of a Marvel cinematic universe kind of approach in their next movie that just came out uh, is Shin Ultraman which uh really yeah <laughs> and uh i think those it's being released theatrically i think in the u.s now i i think i saw in august but uh but yeah that's definitely what i w- wouldn't my mind seeing and then um there's cool. a uh and i think there's a third one in the series but uh but yeah with the a, a, a different person but but yeah, uh, yeah, that will be kind of kind of fun to see once it comes out to where uh, the U.S. audience can easily <laughs> easily watch it. But uh, yeah, for sure, this one's cool. Uh, the, the, the had my I would like I totally watch this um, for sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and, uh, yeah, it looks yeah. like it looks like that that same actor, isn't it? That uh, ran, ran a guy, that rando guy. If you look, go up to the movie poster at the top that uh top guy uh very top very top yeah yeah oh that's that that guy that's in the top of the the head (laughs) that's yeah that's the guy from shin godzilla is it or or am i being Uh, no 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 no, yeah that's not him just gotta look i don't know like uh, Uh, i'm not saying all asians look alike No, no, not at all. No, no, no. I, it's very confusing to me uh, in, in general anyway. Like, and I, look, I, I have a spot, I joke about having, I, I have about five spots in my brain for like famous people. And then as like one, as I get one in, one kind of drops off, I guarantee it. Like that's just how it works. But, um, but I'm, I'm an old man. Uh, not really, but yeah, no, I, I, I really, this was just cool. It was kind of like a, a very good different takes on Godzilla, you know, like the American version versus like the, the Japanese oh, uh, one. Here we go. Sorry about that. Uh, oh, got, Ultraman. There we go. I got Ultraman. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> uh, Pretty cool. One of my Amigo collections. Uh, I, I have no Godzilla. I would have brought him out earlier. I guess I, guess I could have brought out Gorn, but <laughs> give oh, him a little yeah. rest. <laughs> we, we, we like to have Gorn uh, as a special guest here occasionally, uh, for <laughs> <Okay>. sure. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Um, uh, not much. Uh, uh, I don't have much else to add uh, to the Shin Godzilla, but it was good, and you should watch it. It's a very good, um, solid, um, you know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And, and one other thing with Shin Ultraman, it's the same creative team, the those guys from uh, Evangelion, uh, they they're doing the in Ultraman as well. That Ano and Shinji. Awesome. So, so cool. yeah, uh, so yeah, the should like I said should should be good. Uh, but yeah, I guess we can roll on into uh, 2014 or roll back and yeah. talk about that Godzilla. Uh, now this one is the one that you recommended, and. Uh, I think I I hadn't seen this this one yet, and I, and you hadn't seen Godzilla. So the so this was my first watch. I had not seen this, based on people telling me that it wasn't good. That mm-hmm. uh, that Brian Cranston that it was kind of a meet and switch. Brian Cranston's not barely in this movie, and uh, that, that the way they, missed opportunity. Yeah, sure. the the uh-huh. yeah the. The way they shot it was all low angle, and um, you you barely saw Godzilla. You saw a foot here, head there, and, and, and this uh, is, but but this is this is the, the dive. 
almost the opposite of like what I was the criticism that I would have with this would be like whereas like you have a very Godzilla is front and center. Yeah. It is your you have a very intimate view compared to this movie. Um, like where it was everything's far away. It's the scale, which it, it, I would say to a fault. It does it. Nothing sucked. Um, and, and I do agree. Like in the first act, Brian Cranston. I, I mean, a little bit of a spoiler here, but you know he just didn't make it, um, and it kind of sets up the thing. But um, I, I did enjoy. I think the special effects were good um, in this one. Um, I don't have. I mean, it's 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 a Godzilla. You know, it's it's <laughs> not much to to tell. Although the the kind of the setup though is is there there are other kind of these other monsters at play. And no, we're not quite the sure Mutus. what's going on, you know. Right, Mutus. right, right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, uh, yeah, in um, despite having heard all of that, I, uh, I went into it with, uh, with fresh eyes. I, I never put anything, you know. I, I don't stack the deck up against something when I'm watching. It, but, uh, and I actually was pleasantly surprised. This actually is a, mm-hmm. a pretty decent Godzilla movie, and I liked uh, Brian Cranston in it. Yeah, it would have been kind of cool to have him throughout the whole thing, and then. And especially especially because he's he's a great actor and um uh, ken watanabe who's sort of like i guess the other scientist guy his right. his acting he was very understated in his performance whereas brian cranston was very uh kind of manic in his performance emotional so, so much, very yeah, very emotional yeah. and and once that that energy was gone uh ken watanabe wasn't able to really put that energy back into it oh. uh so that 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 element was kind of missing i uh but but i did like um brian cranston's son uh he, he steps in and uh <laughs> he's sort of like the the big action you uh, the u.s action hero that kind of steps in but but not really he, he sort of <laughs> kind of he, he kind of gets pushed into the action role uh kind of even unwantedly because he's just trying to get back to his family and he keeps right. running into these these darn monsters <laughs> that's, <laughs> right. that's tearing up the world <laughs> and uh, you know he's like all right i guess they jump in and uh because <laughs> he's a, a army guy and he keeps running into the army go, okay yeah I'll, i guess i could help out <laughs> yeah and, it, uh, it, and i don't know why the scarlet witch didn't jump up yeah, and uh, i was just gonna a, say that whammy on, <laughs> on i him. mean it would have been over it would have been yeah. over i just uh, like uh, especially if you told her that godzilla ate, ate her imaginary children or whatever <laughs> yeah <laughs> that'd be a yeah. So, <laughs> be spoiler bad. Spoiler alert there. Uh, and, but anyway, uh, it's not really surprising. But yeah, th- this was just the scale was completely different. Um, mechanics, how they, how they approached it. Some of it was like very like, uh, well, I guess we got to hurry up and set up the set up the plot here. Uh, mm-hmm. <laughs> like, yeah, so like, where I agree with you, like the this the action hero, if you if you want to call it that, you know, aside from, you know, Cranston playing a part, you know, and, and getting everybody aware of like, hey, pay attention. You know, and and Ken Watanabe, he, I always enjoy him. Uh, he was yeah. he's been in a couple of my most favorite movies of all time, um, and uh, I believe he makes a fair fair uh, appearance here uh, in. Um, I'm trying to think of Inception. Um, I believe. Yeah, um, yeah I, I uh, always anyway, enjoy. Uh, I always enjoy him, but for some reason, he just kind of. It almost seems like he kind of walked through this this one. I I don't know what it is. Uh, it, it just really didn't stand out to me. And then um, the the Godzilla in this one looks uh, very menacing, and he's he's he has a different look than the uh, Shin Godzilla. He has oh, yeah. more of a squared off kind of look to him, as opposed to um, the Shin. Yes, he has that his uh, muzzle, I guess, is kind of squared off, and he's kind of more angular, whereas the Shin Godzilla is more more rounded, uh, which is an interesting choice there. Yeah. Oh well, one thing about Shin Godzilla I didn't um I to talk uh, uh, mention the uh in the the beginning of the movie there's a uh, uh doctor scientist guy that goes overboard off of a ship mm-hmm. and um one of the fan theories is that 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 uh scientist who re- researched Godzilla and had kind of figured out what his makeup was actually is Godzilla. He was overboard. 
it uh, metamorphosizes because he because Godzilla shows up not soon after he he's gone overboard, and right. uh, <laughs> interesting. And yeah, interesting. yeah, and then um, um, but yeah, and then uh, there's in his tail there's that picture. Um, there's a picture of uh, at the end where they show his tail. It looks like almost like a little bitty uh, human humanoidal godzillas are kind of the making up the end of his tail mm -hmm. with the kind of the fins down their back so uh that was that's kind of interesting but yeah so that was what i was going to say about that we could get back to uh, <laughs> yeah yeah well and this version. godzilla had the spikes too but it was they were mm -hmm. a lot more pronounced and angular mm -hmm. um that's that's yeah, yeah I, I, I I mean the visual aspect that get both different Godzilla essentially. I mean like there's like there, this is the American version. I think I saw a size chart on uh, the uh, when we were rolling through the photos the before for Shen Shen Godzilla, mm -hmm. and that was uh, I think Shen is a little bit taller by ten meters or something. Uh, and this one, not that anybody <laughs> cares, but power scaling right. or whatever. But yeah, I can. I guarantee you, like I have definitely probably uh, will be watching, if not, I've already watched, uh, you know, like the this and this is what I love about the nerddom. Um, there's there's always some dude out there on YouTube or gal, guy or gal out there who's going to tell you they just love this stuff uh, inside and out. They can tell you like, you know, cool mm -hmm. aspects of this one or the power scale of this or what it means or, you know, like you can get yeah. to the lore if you want to uh did you want <laughs> yeah. to but yeah this one, yeah i think, this uh, I think we're, we're all somewhat on the spectrum and uh yeah <laughs> there's uh, some some that kind of on the spectrum that that really gets obsessed with that like kind of thing <laughs> <laughs> fair criticism fair enough fair enough yeah, <laughs> yeah I, you know <laughs> very true yeah uh, we had we, scarlet witch uh, elizabeth Olsen. like uh, you know some of these guys did you with they were i think they spent an interesting amount of time build up for here and then you know you kind of got to set up the scene and then like okay let's quickly walk to the next <laughs> to, the, to the next act uh, uh as it were but it was good huh? it was uh yeah it was it was it was a good fair uh two hours um yeah. i was gonna see yeah both, the other both, yeah they're both they're both, both, both were, really yeah close. yeah they're both about two hours uh yeah <laughs> i like to tell the u.s version they they played um the game of hand off the kid to a new new person kind of game. Yeah, <laughs> the kid is <laughs> passed around. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. That's the, the yeah. as they're glow popping and and going coincidentally banging right into the next monster after mo you know next <laughs> next right. disaster zone. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I love how fast they covered uh covered distances. The uh, the <laughs> the main character how he was able to <laughs> get to place the place that's, right that's right a, whenever godzilla got there <laughs> yeah that, that, that's a fair criticism for american movies uh, too uh that you're kind of in some movies like this your 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 cut scenes and your timelines don't make any sense um but again it's a movie so you know you just kind of go with it uh but there there is that that case for sure uh yeah, as and, it were um, but yeah mm -hmm. One of the things I read uh, in the Wikipedia was that the director, uh, the way he he staged it, he uh, made sure that any camera angle that you saw Godzilla, even though um, a lot of some of the times it was maybe a, a CGI camera or whatnot, uh, it was he always did it in a spot where a, a physical camera could be. Uh, so, so it gave a more a. Uh, I guess more of a, a documentary kind of a on the ground uh, look to it. Um, there's there's several scenes from say uh, Scarlet Witch's perspective of her running terrified on on the streets and she's looking up at Godzilla. It gives right. you again gives you a sense of scale of uh, of Godzilla and you see you know how right. how big he is and how how <laughs> how insignificant the the humans are and then. Um, like uh, the, there, there's that scene where you showed where the military is kind of going right. in, uh, parachuting in, and they're <laughs> kind of floating, uh, floating uh, across from Godzilla. <laughs> you see, see how big he is, and uh, that, ma mm -hmm. massive. Ma yeah, they, yeah. They, 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 the Shin did it in a different way to kind of show how insignificant people like we didn't exist, you know, versus mm -hmm. this one where it was like bigger scales, and then you can kind of see. He, 
he stacks up uh, uh, on uh, our punny little ships, you know. <laughs> And and uh, yeah, go ahead and use your uh, your your machine gun because that's totally going to make a difference. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> not yeah. really, but. Um... <laughs> and there's um, there's no crossover between Shin Godzilla and the, the U.S. Godzilla. Um, there's no there's no crossover, so they're completely separate stories. Um, right. Just, uh, but but interesting, U.S. take on Godzilla, and uh, the Japanese take on on Godzilla. And uh, I mean, both I, both are are uh, Godzilla movies. So <laughs> if you're looking uh, for a, a deep drama, you're <laughs> you're not going to get that. But <laughs> yeah, I, I I think of the two, I think I like yours just a little bit more than mine. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I I thought I would enjoy the rewatch of this again, but um, it was oh, don't get me wrong, it was good, you know. But um, mm -hmm. I think I would probably be more likely to rewatch this in like the next 10 years than than that, unless I was covering this for a specific reason or something like we just did. Um, but yeah, I, I still remembered I enjoyed it. Um, this is definitely, I think, better than the um, the Puff Daddy uh, 90s version or whatever, or yeah. early 2000s version. Yeah. Um, I'm not going to look it up, but uh, <laughs> in any case, um, yeah. For sure. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um... I didn't look at the the ratings. This one got on a six point four. What did Shin get by chance? Six point eight. <laughs> so, I'd say I call that a seven. Like versus yeah. the other one is more of a six. Um, and I think that's yeah. a fair. You know, if you if you were to round up, this would be a good solid seven. And the other one is is a is it's it's a six. It's not lower than that. It's it's definitely right. entertaining. Right. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's action movie, uh, mm -hmm. American. You know, like I said, there's a lot of tropes that it goes into, but it's Godzilla, right? So yeah, <laughs> yeah. There's there's certain people that really love Godzilla, and uh, Criterion came out uh, not too long ago. They they had a box set of uh, Toho's, which currently owns the Japanese um, version of Godzilla. Their their first ten iteration movies of Godzilla, and uh, even though I was not a Godzilla fan, I was kind of did to maybe uh get that and watch it just because i know so many people that that love godzilla so i was kind of curious but uh, <laughs> it's always the price tag and also uh, do i really want you know <laughs> all those godzilla movies <laughs> uh yeah i think that's the the original the older one uh, the, the old one yeah there's the okay also a box set that they did uh like i said not too long ago that um, I think it's 10 movies, maybe more. Um, yeah. And uh, obviously Criterion always does a really nice, nice version of them with uh, a lot of cool extras. <laughs> oh. uh, didn't like it. It crashed. <laughs> oh, well, that's okay. I'll get it, get us back here. Well, yeah. I tell you what. Oh, no. Oh, there it is. All right. All right, here we go. Yep, let me bring it back up. Sorry. All right. <laughs> right on. Yeah. Ah, uh, well, that's okay. Like, I have it in the other window, but I don't want to tempt fate again. So, whatever. Um, <laughs> yeah. Was it the, 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 was it this one? Uh, oh, I didn't like it. It's so funny. One of these days, I'll get it. If this thing would uh, cooperate. All right, there we go. Anyway, yeah, no, I, I enjoyed this week's uh, one. This is a lot different than, this is a lot lighter take on things than uh, last week's, I think uh, it's fair to say. Oh, oh yeah. Um, yeah, it's always good to uh, cleanse the palate with, uh, you know, with just your <laughs> your goofy monster movie, you know? <laughs> right. And, uh, and uh, you know, even though they're, they're both, uh, you know, dealing with the giant monster, uh, both of them, to a more serious take on it and um yeah. and both both still had fun with it uh which which i enjoyed um yeah i don't want, want things to be too goofy but but not too serious either they both kind of landed on the right right about of <laughs> you yeah, know the two i think this was a little bit more bureaucratic and more um more believable i think in in, in, yeah. in a way than the, the american yeah, ones was just and I'm not saying anything negative about the one I picked, but it was just it was a lot more Hollywood and yeah. here's the thing and then boom we jump to it, you know, and then we go to the next 
10 things boom 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 yeah you know shouldn't godzilla like i said it, they're you got to see the inner workings of the bureaucracy and how they they mm -hmm. would handle a, a situation and like you said it, it seems very much uh like how how something like this would uh transpire and uh, they also include like the u.s and how yep. they they have to kind of deal with the u.s as a ally and, and, and at sometimes a adversary as far as what that what they need and want uh in a situation and um it's it's really kind of kind of cool and they they keep it interesting there's a lot of just scenes of just you have those scenes of destruction of godzilla uh mirrored against scenes of just uh mundane things like getting out the laptops for the task task force getting out right. the printers and then uh and then just seeing the and then them kind of walking down the halls and oddly enough at times uh when they're doing uh scenes where people are talking and as a group setting or they're walking down the hall talk it, it oddly kind of reminded me of a wes anderson movie how how he, really? he tends to have groups of people and they're they're constantly you know they're talking back and forth and um and there there's kind of tinges of very slight humor in the in this movie and that kind of made me think of that obviously it's not the same and i don't think they were influenced or not maybe it's just kind of quirk in my head that kind of kind of made me think of that but i, I thought i would I'd mention that <laughs> Oh, fair point fair point yeah um this was i uh good uh it was good um this week was just fun um and godzilla was always uh it's always fun and entertaining uh for sure um we both i think we're both on the same level as far as like uh, uh appreciation of that like like we said we're filthy casuals uh, oh, yeah. or i am for sure i think you're a little bit more uh, uh worldly than i am in this in this but uh just from the standard of watching more uh or being more open to watching you know some of these these films like i this one i definitely want to this is next on the list for sure <laughs> when, <laughs> yeah if it's even out yeah i don't even know if it's out um uh, i know it's definitely out in japan i think it's starting okay. to tr trickle down into the theaters here oh in um uh you you probably have uh being in a, a bigger city you're probably more likely to to have a, a option of seeing it in the theater there but uh but uh, no. I don't think uh, it'll reach as far <laughs> far as me. Uh, so more than likely, I'll have to see it on streaming or on uh, Blu-ray or something like that. Okay, it looks like it's uh, October 5th is when it'll be available on some kind of streaming service. Um, that, okay. This is the website that I found that um, will just tell you want to watch something and you don't want to wade through, you know, whatever you can just see if you are subscribed to it or not or whatever. But that'll be cool. I wish they would tell you kind of who would be, but that's okay. We don't have to wait long, so that's cool. Yeah, yeah, cool maybe we'll do that on a, a future future episode. And, uh, I, those, I think so. Yeah. And yeah. those fans, those fans out there that are big Godzilla fans that hung with, with us as, as casuals, filthy casuals, talk about Godzilla. If you're a big Godzilla fan or even if just a minor fan, uh, yep. just uh, give us a comment down below telling us what your favorite Godzilla movie is. And did, did we did we mess up and not cover a, a certain one? Uh, let us know. We may, may revisit. I mean, there's uh over 30 godzilla movies at this point so you know <laughs> it's uh, the well yes. is deep deep as far very, as very uh, deep well. digging through for sure um, yeah and then there, then there's the um the crossover too like which i think sparked us a little bit um but in any case um yeah uh tell us what you think uh and um this week uh i guess we'll be stomping out uh <laughs> stomping out on our way on our exit out <laughs> yeah hopefully uh there will be no casualties <laughs> yeah definitely i've been mike i'm thomas and look out for those kaijus <laughs> <laughs>